Hey, how's it going guys? Well, uh, this time we're gonna brew um, a German IPA. What's a German IPA, Fernando? Come on, tell us what it is. It's just an IPA. We're gonna use um, German hops. And yes, we're gonna reuse the same yeast that we use for the Kolsch. That's right, I don't even go to clean the fermenter as I'm gonna transfer into kegs as soon as I finish brewing, it's going to be sanded into the same fermenter. Sounds risky, isn't it? Stick around. Hey everyone, well you see the intro, yeah we're gonna use that risky technique to make this beer. Nothing to worry about it, nothing to worry about it, I've done it in the past, it works fine. But yeah, let's see what happened. Uh, for now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start waiting everything, milling everything and get everything ready for tomorrow, then we're going to clandestine and brew this beer. But I will give you the grain bill soon. Okay, let's start milling. Hey everyone, well we're here in Clandestino now, so uh, let me tell you what we're gonna use for this. We're gonna use uh, 12 kilos of pale two row. We're gonna use one and a half kilos of Vienna malt. One kilo of um, white wheat malt. And also 750 grams of biscuit malt. That's all we're gonna need. So let's get the mash down ready, uh, filled up with water, etc., etc. All right, let's start. All right, we got the water. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to raise the temperature to 68. We're looking for 65 um, single step mash. So I'm just going to heat it up to 68, throw the grain in, and then if we need to adjust, we will adjust it. But for now, let's heat it up. All right, we got the water. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to raise the temperature to 68. We're looking for 65 um, single step mash. So I'm just going to heat it up to 68, throw the grain in, and then if we need to adjust, we will adjust it. But for now, let's heat it up. All right, we're 68 degrees Celsius. Let's add the grain now. All right, everyone. So we got a, uh, we double our grain in, uh, our temperature dropped like about 63, so I just raised the temperature for another two, two degrees. 65 is like already established, so we're gonna leave it there for one hour, all right? So yeah, let's wait. All right, well, it's been an hour now. Uh, I got my sponge water uh, heated up to 78, so we're gonna raise our temperature to mash out. The one on my, my uh, mash ton, we're gonna raise it to 78, and then we're going to basically do a star recirculating and then the laddering and sparks, etc., etc. For yeah, for that point, uh, let's yeah, let's do it. All right, so uh, we're gonna start boiling now. We finished transferring. Uh, we're gonna add a, we're looking for 50 IBUs. Uh, we're gonna end up about 60, 60 liters in the end. So I'm gonna use Magnum. This Magnum is a 16.4% alpha acid. And my calculation tell me that I need uh, 88.5 grams of uh, Magnum for the 50 IBUs that I'm looking for. So, yeah. Right, so yeah, let's get in and add it. 
All right, everyone, we're close to the 15 minute mark. So we're gonna uh, add a wear flock. We're gonna put um, a, a chilling coil so it can get sterilized. And we're also going to connect the pump to start uh, recirculate the, the wort to sterilize the, the pump and the hoses. And also we're gonna add 31 grams of uh, Bavarian Mandarin top. And we're also gonna add 50 grams or Hala Tower. Okay, let's uh, get it ready to add it when it's 50 minutes left. All right, 31 uh, grams of um, uh, Bavarian Mandarin and 50 grams of Hala Tower. Let's add it to it. All right, it's been 60 minutes. Uh, let's uh, put it out and start cooling. And remember, when we are about 80 degrees, we're gonna add the hop stem, which is going to be 100 grams of my Bavarian Mandarin as well. All right, with 80 degrees Celsius, we're gonna add 100 grams of uh, Bavarian Mandarin. We're gonna add it uh, as a hop stem. Let's add it too. All right, everyone, uh, we're finished. We got a uh, 1064. Uh, 16 and a half gallons in the fermenter. It, we're using the same yeast, uh, like I said, and it's been set at six, no, 18.5 or 19 degrees. That's what it's going to be uh, fermenting. So yeah, this is what I choose for it. Uh, this yeast is good up to 21. So yeah, let's let's see what happens. So as you guys know, now we're going for rest to rest, and um, well, you see what else is coming. Hey everyone, last part of the video, the part I enjoyed most. Uh, what do you guys think? Really nice and clear, huh? Well, a German IPA. Why do I call it a German IPA? Just for the fact that I use like a Kolsch yeast and also I use just German hops. As we use uh, Magnum for bitterness. Uh, a little bit of Hala Tower and a Bavarian Mandarin, and also Bavarian Mandarin for a uh, hop stand. So yeah, it turns out actually pretty good. I really like it. The only thing I'm gonna say is I believe that because we use biscuit, uh, biscuit brings a little bit of sweetness onto the beer and kind of like the hop is not as bitter that I was expecting. So this turns out more like a pale ale instead of an IPA. Still balanced, still pretty good. Uh, if I'll do it again, I'm gonna put more hops. Let's, uh, let's say we're gonna add more. I, we're gonna attempt to get a higher IBUs in the beer so it gets a little bit more bitter. But other, otherwise, it's actually pretty good. I'm impressed with the result. Uh, I think I will do it again, like I said, getting a little bit more bitter. But yeah, uh, let's try it. But before that, subscribe to the channel. Activate the notification bell, hit that like button, and leave us your comments. Everything helps for uh, the channel to grow. Uh, the community is growing pretty good. I really thank everyone that is following with these videos. And remember, just leave your comment if something that you don't understand what I said on the video, or remember, my first language is Spanish, so I'm trying to do it in English. But if something it wasn't clear, just like, leave a comment and I will answer to you and I will explain to you what I do, or what did I do in that process um, and all that kind of stuff. Or if something say like, oh, the video is just like too long, remove this thing, like, I don't know. Feedback's always good. So yeah, let's try the spear. Ooh, an aroma, you can smell a lot the, uh, the Bavarian Mandarin. Uh, it's actually, 
that hop I used a long time ago and I wasn't impressed with. And this time, like maybe my techniques are better now that I can express those hops better. But uh, oh boy, it's actually pretty good, that hop. I think I'm gonna order more of <laughs> my body and mandarin again. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. I really like it. So yeah, let's try it. Like I said, very well balanced. I will add more IBUs just to get it a little bit more bitter. I will say it again. I believe the using the biscuit mold bring a little bit more sweetness to it. So I need to basically balance that a little bit better. I mean, it's balanced for a pale ale, but it's not for an IPA. I gotta be totally honest with you guys. I make mistakes as well. Not all the beers always turns out to be great. I mean, we always make good beer, but it's always something that we can change. It's always that we can tune. If and do you mind if everything was perfect, it would be completely boring to make beer. So yeah, that's the the, um, the good thing or the cool thing about it. So when you try it, oh, I will add a little bit more of this. I'm gonna remove a little bit more of that. That's what it makes you a good brewer in the end. So yeah, take that ego out. Uh, no, all the beer's always great. So yeah, that's an advice that you didn't ask for. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, um, I want to thank everyone and yeah, thank everyone for uh, following my channel and watch those videos. Uh, all the time and effort we put into it, uh, it feels great when somebody else is watching it and it's actually coming and, and it feels great. So guys, uh, please keep doing that. I really like it and it helps me to grow my channel. Uh, for those that is watching this and never seen this video before and for some reason you just watch it in English, we have another channel. It's exact same like this one, but it's in Spanish. It's, the videos are pretty much the same, then the identical. Just the differences is I film one part in English and another part in Spanish and what I edit in, basically I do all that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, um, I wanna say everyone a happy new year. Uh, hope like you guys, uh, all yours, uh, you know what I mean. Everything you guys planning to do for 2024, actually get it done. All right, guys, well, that's it. So see you in the next one.